What today's video game market is missing? It's simple guys, Sega hardware. For various reasons, people are displeased with the rollout of various games in the current gaming industry. And what I mean by that is Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo are the pillars of the industry currently. I really wanted to talk about this subject because I honestly feel like Sega brought quality and uniqueness, edginess, uh, a really unique experience to the gaming industry. I felt like once they got out of the hardware game, and let their IPs go onto different platforms and allow those IPs to be manipulated and lose some of its essence that made them so special. So I think that Sega needs to come back and get back into the hardware game and Sega would actually be a strong competitor against Nintendo. No, I don't want to particularly talk about Sega as a software company because in actuality, in its original form, Sega was a hardware company that also produced software and games that really did compete well against Nintendo. Because of this guy right here, Sega was actually able to outsell Nintendo almost two consoles to one during 1991. Now, I'm bringing this fact up to say I don't think there's any other company currently that's actually competed sales-wise with Nintendo other than Sega themselves. So they would know what to do to actually compete in today's climate and gaming industry. Any game company, whether it's Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo, they all have their own gaming exclusives that makes them unique. Because of this, they're able to gain some market share and get ahead of other companies based on the quality of their uh, console exclusive games. Where Sega messed up was is they got out of the console industry too early, in my opinion, with the Sega Dreamcast. They should have gave it more time to play out and compete with the other consoles in that generation, but they got out early. When multi-platform games come out for all systems, typically the Nintendo Switch version is going to be the weakest version of them all. Now, with Sega, Sega prioritized performance and hardware and unique games. Not only will they have their console exclusives, which you can no longer get on Nintendo or any other system, but also they will have their uh, multi-platform game and I would say it will be on par to the Xbox version or the PlayStation version. The Sega Genesis was one of Sega's flagship consoles and the reason being as you can see even in the build of this, this is the Model 2 and the quality of the cartridges, the games, this was the edgy revolutionary period for the Sega. All they have to do is bring some of that edginess and attitude back and I think they will be a strong competitor in today's current gaming market. It needs to pull all of their content off of every other platform and begin to get back into the console market. I think now is a better time than ever. What the gaming industry is currently missing in today's age is Sega hardware. If you enjoyed the video definitely click a like and subscribe to the channel. Also there are support links in the description below and be on the lookout for my next video. Also Sonic needs a home and if you would like to adopt Sonic and sponsor the channel, a link for Sonic will be in the description below. Alright guys, take care. Hope to see you on the next video and take it easy. I'm getting out of here.